So not many people know this about me, but before I started working on climate change, I used to be a detective. Clear case of cold-blooded murder. Whoa. Let's not jump to any conclusions. I'm not jumping to conclusions, Adam. The murder weapon's lying right there. You know, I've looked it up and people are always dying. Yes, I know. So are you saying they were murdered too? Because last time I checked, most people died of natural causes. No, I'm saying all the evidence shows that this guy's been shot. Look, I'm sure it was just a heart attack. There's nothing we could do. The murderer is standing right there. We should probably arrest him. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, so they fired me. This is the kind of sloppy detective work some people use with global warming. Even though there's tons of evidence that carbon dioxide's the cause, you still get people saying that it's all natural. They reckon that because the climate's changed before, it can't be our fault now. After all, it's not like humans caused the last ice age. But like investigating a death, just because the climate's changed before doesn't mean we should assume it's natural now, especially when all the evidence seems to be pointing to a particular culprit. Like in a lineup, scientists can check the usual suspects, the natural causes of climate change. Maybe the sun's getting hotter? Nope. Could it be volcanoes? Nope. So we've ruled out natural causes, and the science of the greenhouse effect points to carbon dioxide as suspect number one. But scientists don't just stop there. They look for carbon dioxide's fingerprints on the globe to build up evidence against it. Scientists can check how days and nights are heating up differently, which parts of the atmosphere are heating up quicker than others, and how rainfall is changing. All these fingerprints point to carbon dioxide as the culprit. So the detective work is done. Scientists have confirmed that carbon dioxide did the crime. Now it's up to all of us to work out how to stop it before it does even more damage. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe for all the latest Climate Adam videos. And while you're here, check out the new Climate Chat series. The first episode is all about chatting about climate change, obviously. Until next time, bye.